And despite all the homes that are popping up all around Central Texas, new neighborhoods left and right, local home builders, they're still having trouble keeping up with demand. Yes, they are. And Billboard Modna has been keeping up with that story, joining us in the studio this morning, hanging out with us at 5.07 with a closer look at the challenges that these home builders are facing. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, no fun if you're trying to buy a home, if you're trying to build no, a home. Okay. There's a lot going on. So prices for the materials needed to build a home have been rising and finding workers to do the work isn't easy, but through the challenges home builders are still bringing in business. Hard at work. Crews work to pour a foundation at one of Daniel Reeves job sites in Westlake. His company, Verde Builders Custom Homes, has been extra busy. We, we've got just as much business as, as we could ever do. Business but. during a pandemic still has its challenges. So when we create a budget for house, you know, we, we calculate every line item right down to the cabinet hardware, you know, and, and get prices on all this stuff, and that's how we create our budgets for our clients. But material prices have changed through the pandemic. Especially items like lumber and concrete and, and things that are uh, more in high demand. And that means it can cost more to build. If you have a, a 20 percent increase in the cost of, of the entire construction budgets, you know, then that that would take a you know million dollar budget up to a million two. Uh, you know, it's it's impactful. From bidding it a year ago to, to when it's time to implement, prices have just gone up on the on the labor and the material side that much. Dave Erb is serving as the general contractor for the home he's building in Austin. He too is running into speed bumps. My electricians bid it four or five months ago. They came in today or a week ago started to say, look, it's going to be $5,000 more simply because copper's gone up, right? Um, my HVAC guy, HVAC guy, uh, same thing. Appliances can also take time to get in. We moved some people into a house uh, uh, six months ago and they just got their refrigerator in. But it's a small price to pay in a booming industry with no signs of slowing down. Uh, I mean, Austin's always been a beautiful, amazing place to live, you know, but, but I think the whole rest of the world's figured that out. And the <laughs> price of lumber increased from $400 per thousand board feet in February 2020 to an all-time high of over $1,600 in early May. But over the last few months, prices have continued to fall. So the question is, Tom, Sally, should we go build a house? <laughs> hey, I'm hoping I, those you get the material and I'll yeah. do the hammer. Yes, yeah, so we all have a job. We'll build our own house. Yeah, we'll yeah. all have our own little job to do. Thank you, Nabil. Thanks,